Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and wow what are we going to talk about today? Wow one thing that will be a staple of Blitz at least currently is the amount of times I hear the game's rubbish, the MM is awful, the RNG is bad and the servers are crap. Yes they are all valid points and yes in many respects I totally agree with some of these points nevertheless regardless of these valid points and no doubt others you can contrary to popular belief have fun in blitz so oh, this is my guide on how to have fun in blitz first off and this one is really really important in fact this is one of the most important things you can ever 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 learn you need to remember it's only a game nothing more than that your life is not on the line, you're not saving the world, the bank will not suddenly foreclose on you, your family won't disown you and throw you out, and you will not contract some awful illness at all. That's right, the only thing on the line is your stats. Nothing more than that. Now here's the odd thing about stats, is that if you hurt them, which you will, you can always come back at another time and get them back. Strange thing that. Now obviously it assumes a few things. Firstly, it assumes you've got the skills to warrant the stats that you have. And that secondly, you're in the right frame of mind to actually play the bloody game to begin with to the best of your ability. Yeah, it's easy to moan about the teams, the RNG and the servers and all the other mundane stuff that uh, you have absolutely no control over. Unless your internet connection is pants, of course. You only have control over both your tank and your ability. Nothing else. You can tell your team where to go, and you may get lucky and have one that listens. But if they don't, well, is it the end of the world? Will the moon suddenly cascade itself downwards and blow us to smithereens? No, it will not. You just need to change your tactics and maybe your strategy and do what your team is doing. Now once you realise that this is just a game with nothing important on the line whatsoever, then your journey to having fun whilst playing bits is ready to begin. Next on the list to having fun is to choose both a tank and a tier you are comfortable with. Now don't feel pressured to roll out in the high tier tanks in order to chase your damage stats or avoid those tanks because some muppet may call you a seal clubber. I mean, who cares? If you're called a seal clubber, nothing nasty will happen to you. The KGB won't suddenly bang down your door in the middle of the night to drag you off to the nearest gulag for rolling out in a lower tier tank. So drop this bullshit baggage and once you remember point one, Namely, it's only a game. Point two becomes less of an issue. Okay, we know it's a game, and we're rolling out in tanks that we now like and we're comfy in. So what's next on how to have a bit of fun? Well, and this one is gonna be controversial. Forget almost everything you have heard from every single YouTuber. Don't be influenced by, it's an OP tank, it's a broken tank, it's got a derp gun, OP replays or how to get high damage or a 60% win rate. Play your game. Don't play somebody else's game because they aren't playing for you. Only you can play for you. Disregard all these things you hear about OP or broken tanks because every tank in the game can be countered quite easily when you know how. Yeah, the Smasher is strong. It's not invincible, far, far from it. Same goes for each and every single tank in the game. And the only thing that makes these things broken is our own misgivings and preconceptions. These are the only things that stop us from effectively, effectively countering them. Generally, a positive outlook will actually aid you more than the negative, oh my god, they have a smasher, we're doomed. Believe me on this. Smashers and other so-called OP tanks are not invincible. This game is not pay to win. Now, I'm not saying we YouTubers don't add value. Of course we do. We have massives of value. But resist the temptation to formulate your views 
upon the subjective views of others. For example, everyone, with the exception of me, or so it seems, hates the turtle. Yeah, I have great fun in it every time. Now, it's not the best tier 8 TD. I fully admit that. But it's certainly not as bad as everybody makes out. Well, I don't think it is. You need to create your own opinions on your on the tanks. By all means, watch the reviews and the views that are expressed within. But keep an open mind so you can formulate your own view. Thus, you can have your own mind. Use the damn thing. It's yours. Okay, we've slated the YouTubers, so we must be having a bit of fun. Next, don't chase premium tanks. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, premium tanks have good credit making facilities. But don't be fooled into thinking that premium tanks are like some super duper OP pay to win thing, because they're not. Many premium tanks do actually have tech tree alternatives, which don't come in crates and are free. Well, they are really. So, so resist dropping all your cash on crates for the latest premium tank and learn to enjoy the tech tree ones first. Now, with the exception of the Kenny Otsu, a very broken tank, really a broken tank, every other premium or collector tank in the game will hit the store at one in one form or another at a later date. Now, it could come back reduced for real cash or even for gold. Just wait. Because you know what? Good things come to those who wait. Waiting, therefore, in patience is actually a virtue. And if you can bring that into your game, then, funnily enough, you'll start to enjoy it more. Now, the battles in Blitz have a seven minute time limit. But most of us seem to want to get the battle over in the first 30 seconds, and in many cases, because most players like to rush headlong into a wall of enemy fire. Well, that really is the case. Take your time. Time is not of the essence, especially in Encounter. Maybe to an extent in Supremacy, but that's a completely different story that I'm not going to touch. There is an expression, only fools rush in. And that is so, so true. Even more so in Blitz. Because most of the time, the enemy is not spotted, you will have no support, and you will get wrecked. You also need to remember, why are you in such a hurry? I mean, the general idea is to punish the enemy for their mistakes, not to allow the enemy to punish you for your mistakes. So let them make the errors. Like General Patton once said, no one ever won a war by dying for their country. They won by making the other poor bastard on the enemy side die for theirs. This is a philosophy you should bring to this game. Make the other side bleed and die. Don't die yourself. So calm down, chill out, and bide your time. And we hereby come back to, remember, good things come to those who wait. Now we're taking our time, we're playing a tank we're like, we're formulating our own opinions, and we're slowly beginning to get the slightest of grins, maybe. So what's next? Wow, next is stop chasing stats. Seriously, stop chasing win rate and damage. Just stop. These things will come, given time. So again, have some patience. Chasing stats is one of the worst things you can do. Because every time you lose, and lose you will, because no one has a real 100% win rate, it will upset you. Now, even the best players in the game don't have 100% which means they lose games. It's that straightforward. Now, when you chase stats, every loss is like a kick in the nutsack. And it brings you back to a less than happy place. So ignore the stats. Play your game in the tank you like, and over time, your stats will slowly begin to improve. Just don't expect it to happen instantly. Remember, even Rome wasn't built in a day. Now, unless you are a super duper amazing unicum with oodles of natural talent it is going to take time so lower your expectations again good things come to those who wait wow how many times am i going to say that we're almost free of most of the baggage that we drag with us which brings us down and stops us from having fun just a few more points to go 
Okay, the teams can be bad. I fully admit that. With players we either knew or clueless or bots or just not very good. Hey, guess what? That's part and parcel of the game. And like I said earlier, you need to play your game, not somebody else's. You have no control at all on how others in your team play. And you have very little influence. Yeah, you can give some pointers in the chat. And you can hopefully pray that they speak the same language as you. And even if they do, they understand what you're saying. But other than that, there is literally nothing you can do. So play your game. Don't let the mistakes of your team get you down or get to you. I mean, if they go in the opposite direction to you, then change direction and go with them. Simple as that. I mean, there will be times when your team is awful or the other side is just better, but that is part of the game and it will and it does happen. All you can do is do your best and play the game, i.e. your game. Obviously remembering all the points above. If, however, you are so pissed off with the teams doing the total opposite to what you expect, then even the odds and call a friend. Jump into a tune, get onto voice in Discord and coordinate between yourselves. This way, at least, you will have another player you can rely upon, assuming you chose your teammate wisely, of course. Now, the bad teams won't seem so bad, and at least you will have time, you have someone to share your moaning and groaning with rather than becoming toxic, a toxic twat in the chat. And if all else fails, turn the bloody game off. Go out, enjoy the sunshine or the rain or whatever floats your boat. Watch some telly, speak to your family and friends, and come back later after your bad session. It's just a distant memory. And do it all over again, creating even more better and new bad memories. <laughs> or, hopefully, some new happy memories. Seriously guys, if you follow these simple and straightforward pointers, you may actually start to enjoy the game. And you may actually bring a bit of fun and happiness to your Blitz experience. And hopefully, along the way, you will improve as a player and be less toxic. Okay, that's wishful thinking. We will never be less toxic. <laughs> we can all hope. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. But until the next time, guys, remember this. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking because that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy <laughs>